Marion. All right, Marion, Nelson's best mate. When I first saw Marion the cat, he looked like a stripy mouse, and I just thought, F it. That is a real shame. <laughs> we spent all this money and we ended up with a mouse with stripes. And, and uh, anyway, we, we, we got over that. Ah! Redesigning Marion was, was a bit of a worry to us because cat puppets are really hard. <laughs> but luckily, creative inspiration was just around the corner. So there was a particular picture of James Corden doing the pastiche of, a, of a sort of Athena poster. And yeah, it was looking at that picture that I did a little sculpt of what Marion's body was going to be like. Cue the new and improved, lovable Marion. And I'm really happy. I think we've got a really funny Marion now. Hello, madam. I am a gasman, as you can clearly see from my official hat. I'm a cat, and I'm stuck up a tree. I'm such a cliche. Nelson for lots of reasons, is the star of the show. And so we needed to find a sidekick that, that would support and complement that. I got all this effort! you never tell me how nice I look! When I joined the production, uh, they hadn't cast uh, Marion. Uh, everyone else was pretty much from the pilot, but they still didn't know what Marion was yet. And then there was some talk about casting on Jalili. And so I sort of did an impression. A not very good impression, but I did an impression of Omar Jalili, essentially. And it sort of stuck. He has absolutely no idea where he comes from. Uh, some people say it's a Spanish accent, some people say it's a Turkish accent. Fortunately, it's very easy to drop into a uh, Russian accent, which happens uh, a lot. It's absolutely none of these accents at all. It's a mixture of every accent on the planet. Nelson is very much... It's breaking up words into sort of syllables and then saying them in, in funny ways. It's shameful. It's a shameful piece of grandstanding. Sky! It is flooded! Like Marion spends most of his time in the dustbin, so so that's that's me like this inside a real tin can dustbin. The other day I was in there with him, and then I had to come down and pick up this container of water with his testicles in it. Anyway, no nuts. How's life without any balls? Uh, lonely. At least I got a souvenir. Say hello to my little friends. I've got to keep him up there, and then I, I'm in this small tube, and I've got him up there, and I've got to get down and get this, this tube of testicles up and get it in the shot at the right time and to make sure you can see the testicles in the glass. It's quite hard sometimes, but fun. So, in a way, having my balls cut off saved my life. Right, so it was worth it, then? No. One thing with Marion is, because he's got quite a thick neck, um, just that sort of turning of the head is what literally Nelson literally clings to Andy's arm. So, like, you've got the head, which is foam, and then there's nothing around here other than other than the sleeve and fur. I knew that. I did not know that. It's a box to your left. <laughs> when we're in location, we can't go around raising trees up another five foot so that they look right. So that means the puppeteers get get close to the ground. And because it's England, probably in the mud, but we have to be really low all the time and. Got to hide behind things and get under things. And it's just really dirty and uncomfortable. So it's, it's quite grueling being on location, but then we get the best shots. You buy the fact that they're living because it's that thing of having anything fantasy, you put it into reality. You suddenly buy it a lot more, you suddenly understand it a lot more. 